All right, so this is going to be the first lesson on Microsoft Small Basic. Um, it's a brief introduction. Uh, the um, Microsoft says it should take about 30 minutes to go through this. I don't think it will. I'm going to try to do it in 15. So in this lesson, you will learn how to describe Small Basic, explore the Small Basic environment, write a Small Basic program, use IntelliSense technology, and then save your program. What is Small Basic? Well, it's just a program, um, and a program is a set of instructions that the computer can understand. To write a set of instructions, um, you're actually using a programming language. So Small Basic is basically a programming language, and this is what it looks like here. And it just uh, it makes your computer programming extremely approachable, easy, and fun. Uh, because Small Basic has a lot of tools to help, and we'll talk about that in a second. So it's a very basic programming language for beginners. In the beginning, there were only a few programming languages, uh, and they were easy to learn. However, the languages as computers developed became more and more complex, and uh, such as uh, Microsoft Visual C Plus or uh, C Sharp, I'm sorry, uh, which is a development tool, and then Microsoft Visual Basic. Um, which is uh, small basic is kind of a watered down version of visual basic and then Java is made by uh, uh, by Sun Systems which is a different company but it's a basic programming language and so this complexity discouraged people from uh, wanting to learn how to program computer computers because the commands and the arguments were too complicated so small basic removes all the complexity and and it focuses on just basic um, commands for beginning programmers. So Small Basic provides you with an extremely yet uh, simple, powerful development environment. Um, and basically, it's very sensitive to help. It helps you every step of the way. Section 1 here highlighted is where you actually write your programs in the editor. Section 2, which is highlighted, is where you can run various commands by just clicking on the toolbar. Section 3 is where you, as you write your code, you'll find additional information. It's actually called the help window. Window, And in the help window, it'll define what the command does. It'll define what arguments are available and what the arguments do. And so what we're looking at here is just a basic program. And we'll type this in in a second. But basically, we're telling the computer to open up a text window. We're going to write a line. And that line will say, hello world. Now that you're kind of familiar with the environment, we're going to try to program this. So as you know, the editor is where you write your programs. So let's type in the following line into the text window, uh, write line, hello. Now, and we're going to, I'll do that in just a second separately. Just pay attention though. Um, pretend that you're typing this in. So you have created your first program. If you click run, uh, which is uh, F5 on your keyboard or the run icon that you see there. If you click on that button, you'll get this little window here. And uh, let's do that. Let's try it. So I have small basic up and running, and I um, will do this from start, from scratch. So we've opened up small basic. I need to type in that command. So the first command was text. Now this is the IntelliSense uh, technology. I've typed in the first two letters, T, E, and it pulls up a list of commands. Text is the first one. Here's the definition of what the command does. The text object provides helpful operations for working with text. Over to the right where we see the help menu here, here are a list of arguments or commands that I can use with text that will do different things. But really what I wanted was text window. All right. Now, if I hit enter, it'll automatically put in text window. If I look at my help menu, there's a whole bunch of stuff I could type, right? So I'm going to use write line because I want to write a line. So if I type in WRIT, notice that the command window here will pull up a bunch of stuff. If I hit enter, why write line is highlighted. And I'm just going to type in hello world. Now, the way the program works is I'm going to open a text window. I'm going to write a line. 
what am I going to write the line? In quotes, I'm going to write, hello world. That's it. That's our first program. If I click on run, watch what happens. Opens up a text window, says hello world, press any key to continue, and that's the program.